Welcome to the JT. My people, I greet you now and I welcome now once again to this our new channel. You can do what well always follow us, like, share, and subscribe. On today's news, the governor of Anabra State don't come out to, to talk one on one on how he don't say they govern his state since he enter power. He don't talk say government never send any money, personal money. Say you can't take and say one take and buy car for your wife or say one take and buy something for yourself. All resources where if you manage for the state now, how you go to make the state better. My people, I want to play on the video. Make one year waiting in talk. Concerning how it they build up Anabra. It's going to be a driving force for your government. And you said today that you, you, the government has not bought any vehicle, not even a bicycle for your wife. You have said you have not taken any salary. The last time on the program, you told me that you still not borrow any money two years down the line. It does look like that at your attitude when you are the, go, uh, the CBN, you're bringing it to uh, the governance of Anabra State. But, to what extent? Because there is some kind of economic downturn in the country. How are you able to execute projects? And by the way, some of the projects that you say that you will execute. Let's begin by talking about the mega city. You said you are going to turn an Ambra state into mega cities. How many of the mega cities have you created? Uh, thank you very much. You know, that's. Uh... Short question with a very long answer. I think you will be you will be asking for the hundred uh, uh, footprints that we presented today, and we spoke for an hour plus. I think I'll better send you a copy of that to show you what the footprints are over this period. And thank you very much for putting a preface to this conversation about the five key pillars and our mission here. I mean, uh, lay the foundation for a livable and prosperous smart mega city. Anambra as one smart mega city. That's what it is. That's what when we say mega is when it gets over uh, 10 million people in it. We are very intentional, very deliberate, and very focused on this. Um, putting the foundational uh, uh, steps. I think two parts to your question are some of the milestones. First is that we've been focused on the two documents that provide a compass for our administration. The People's the Soludo Solution, the People's Manifesto. That is one. The second is Anambra Vision 2070, which I chaired the committee that produced it. This administration is the first government after Vision 2070, and we are very deliberate, despite all the challenges and circumstances, to lay the foundation of the Vision 2070 and the Soluto Solution under the five-part agenda. Number one, security, law, and order. That is, without it, you don't, do, you don't go anywhere else. Everybody knows when we came in, the state of affairs, eight local government under total firm grip by the hoodlums, and uh, today largely liberated, and it's still a work in progress to have a total uh, a rule of law, a law and order, and security of lives and property. Uh, we have advanced very massively. Some will put it even at more than 80% uh, done, but that is here and there because it's an ongoing process. Uh, the others about law and order in the society, uh, getting thousands and criminals off the streets and markets and so on. And there is testimony now that our anti touting and so on crusade people are now coming back again from all over the country to shop at Onisha and environs and so on. And is the biggest commercial city in West Africa. But our nation was almost dying and gone and so on and so forth. We are rebuilding these cities. Urban regeneration is on course. We are breathing back life massively. My people, when I don't hear what the governor of Anabra State talk, what do I think concerning this matter? If they do the right thing for the state, we're gonna do well to like and share this video. Until we meet again for another news, we're gonna do well to stay safe for Unado. DJ